Oh yeah, baby. It's that time. It's that time of the week. Happy Friday. And I just want to give you a warm welcome to the Friday happy hour. Ladies and gentlemen, it's exciting. It's exciting. You know, because about maybe 90 something minutes ago, I was not happy. I was in a terrible mood, but you know what? <laughs> Asnal! Asnal! I want to show you something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look at that, Asnal. Take that. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know, I've been trying to wipe my, my tears and, and I feel like, you know, sometimes it's kind of cool when, 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 when you have other neighbors' tears to drink, you know? So... It's just it's just a good time right now because Arsenal just drew with Southampton 3-3 and this title race gets even more interesting. You know what? To talk about what's going on right now, I have a couple of friends with me and I want to just say it's exciting times, ladies and gentlemen. It is exciting times because we also have a little intro that I want to just try out real quick. Check this out. <laughs> Without further ado, I have to add into the stream my man Mick from MUFC Realist TV. What's good, brother? Bottle and smoke and leaking gas. Like, let me say. Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> you <laughs> bottle jobs, bottle jobs. I love the background, mate, and I love the intro. I wonder who did that. You know, you know, I have a friend called Mick, you know, you you might know him, you know. Oh. <laughs> Mick who? He, he just sent me this intro like a few minutes ago and we were like, let's go ahead and try it. Let, yeah. I also would love to give a warm welcome to somebody who's he, been here before. My man, he's also known as Sancho's dad. I'd like to welcome him. Omo, welcome. Happy Friday, brother. Oh, he's muted. Let's send him backstage. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he was unmuted now. He was not. You're nasty that today. Let me try one more time. Wait, wait. Well, yeah, let's listen. It's your man. Almost wait, wait, wait. back again. It's been a long time coming. Long time coming. It's long long time, time, baby. Coming. And you know what? This has actually been a long time coming to get this man on this channel. <laughs> but I am so excited to welcome. This is the first time he appears on this channel and definitely not the last time. I'd love to welcome my man, John, from John Sinclair TV. He is a legend. What's up, John? Big up to you. Big up to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to sound be it. And good evening to you, be it. Hi to everyone else in the chat as well. I hope you're having a good day. Yes, 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 brother. Hey, I'd like to also just say, acknowledge everybody that's in the house. Shout out to you, Brush. Brush is like, share, and subscribe. Spursy says, L O L. Asna says, Homsky. Push says, Asna. <laughs> Wanderer says, Asna bottling job. Oh, and the intro is fire, says Hobsky. And everybody that's been rating it, thank you. Give your give your thoughts, please. I just have to give my 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 gratitude to Mick for this. And and um, anyway, everybody else as well for coming in here and making this um, show possible. So let's talk about us now because it's the thing that just happened right now, guys. Did we see this coming? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I, I saw this coming. You can't give them. Yeah. Anything. They're useless. It's Arsenal. Like, I, I don't respect him at all. You... <laughs> no, I was saying, you know, like, uh, I called it out earlier before Christmas uh, to say, like, you know, you know what? You know, uh, energy prices are quite expensive nowadays. And, you know, they're pretty much gassed up, right? So yeah. I, I said that that balloon would, would burst, like, they filled up the gas tank. But, it is men versus boys. They're quite an inexperienced team. And, um, yeah, I mean, I was speaking to a mate of mine who is a massive Gunnar supporter. He's my brother from another mother. And he said, like, you know what? We never expected to, like, you know, be in the top, you know, to win the league. We're just happy mm -hmm. to get in the top four. So, at the end of the day, yeah, they're in top four. They guaranteed Champions League place. But I think this is cities all the way, all the way. I'm sorry, yeah. 
So, 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 where are you with it, John? How, is 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 Arsenal season a failure <laughs> if they end um, end up bottling this and uh, you know end up second or third? Where, where, where how, how are you feeling about all this? Um, well, as a Newcastle fan, and yes. I think they, for what I've watched to meet, like they could just concede goals of fun and they're not going to win the title now, like because they just cannot defend at all whatsoever. Because they've got seven goals. I mean, they were two up twice and dropped, the, dropped um, four points from both games. And also as well, I just don't think um, Arsenal are good enough at the minute to win the title because they just can't defend at all. I mean, yeah, they can score goals, but they're badly missing Saliba at the back. So it's going to hold them together. They've missed them badly. You know what I mean? And also, yeah. I mean, they haven't spent enough play- money on players as well in the January window. They need another centre-back. They needed to help Jesus out. And Ketia, mm-hmm. I don't think he's the answer for us. Like, you know, he's okay, but he's not the answer. You know what I mean? But and Saka, he looks burnt out, burnt out. But one thing I will say, right? We're playing Arsenal in a couple of weeks' time, and I fancy beating them again. I really do because our defence has been fantastic, apart from last week, of course. But I think Man City will win that now. I think Erling Haaland's gonna have a field day on on <laughs> Wednesday. A field day. I'll be doing a watch along as well for that game. By the way, with Lottie. John, you could see it like at ha- at half t- at uh, full time the way they just collapsed to the f- matter of fact. You saw it when Zinchenko was crying in that other yeah. game, right? The, the 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 previous game, I can't remember who it was. Yeah, I think it was the two two draw of I believe it was it was something. Two- Yes, yes. Do you think like it's just one of those things? Do you guys think like it's one of those things where they're still too young? They haven't built the mentality for it, or like oh, yeah. just for not understand because they were really they're not, they're not with behind the ears yet. To be honest, <laughs> yeah. The yeah, thing yeah. is, the thing yeah. is, right? I mean, the thing is, I, I watched another podcast earlier on. Yeah, I'm not mentioning his name, but he's well known. He's an Arsenal fan, and I tell you yeah. something, right? I mean. He is really going at them, really going at them because um he just doesn't think the players are good enough to win a title. Do you know what I mean? It's done and dusted for Arsenal now. Do you know what I mean? Man City's done it and they got two games in hand. And if they beat Arsenal on Wednesday, it's done and dusted. It's done. Done. John, can I ask you a question though? I mean, obviously we we you, you support Newcastle, I support Manchester United. At the end of the day, when you look at it, you know, why are they crying? Why are Arsenal fans crying? At the end of the day, they're in a better position than they were last season. Same as Manchester United, same as Newcastle. Hey, they're in top four, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They will come again next season, like, you know. Um, as what we say, you know, they, they're still youngsters. They're not wet behind the ears. But it's a massive achievement, basically. Mm-hmm. Even if they can't come second, right? Mm-hmm. It's a massive I'll, achievement. I'll, yeah. I think I'll they overachieved this season, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, they have. I mean, what happened with this? I mean, they finished EF twice on Arteta, then they bottled it last season, finished fifth, and now it looks like they're going to finish second. And they have made massive steps, they really, really have. And to where, where we were last season up to now, but they just have not got that staying power, sort of thing. If you know what I mean? I mean, I think Xhaka was missed tonight. I'm not going to lie, he's mm-hmm. a decent player now. And I think Arteta is he the right guy for Arsenal? I mean, me personally, if I was an Arsenal fan, probably no. I would have given another chance. But the best manager for me um, next season to get was Ancelotti. Arteta, yeah. he's doing well, but is he going to get them in the title? Is he going to get them to the championship? Is he going to get them you to can, the You can argue to the point. You can argue to a point in, in business as well, John, right? You know, you, if yeah. you do transformation and change and change management, you bring on somebody that will lay down the foundation until you build that finished product, the finished roof, right? Mm. Arteta mm-hmm. is not that person. He, so he, he laid all the, lab, uh, the slab, the middle ground and everything. So you just need a yeah, finisher yeah. to come up to complete, right? And yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't call Arsenal bottle job. It's a champagne cork poof, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it was never expected, so I wouldn't call it a bottle job. Maybe they bottled the title race, but they should be proud of themselves. They should pat themselves on the back to say, hey, at least we finished second, right? Mm-hmm. I take, yeah. if I was a Gunnar supporter, I'd take the ending given Sunday, to be honest. Well, the thing is, right, I mean, if you look at it, also a great position, yeah, a great position, like I said. I mean, they dropped, what, one, two, three, four points from being 2 and low, right? And then mm-hmm. they failed to beat the bottom side, Tandy, like, and that's another two points drop. So that dropped six points. Six points they dropped Arsenal, mm. right? And mm. if they have picked up those six points, then 
you would have just said, you know what? Be on to take the Etihad. It's dull and dusted. Dull and dusted. But at the end of the day, right, they haven't won it because Man City are just too strong a team. It was in Arsenal's hands mm-hmm. tonight. Yeah. Typifies everything about Arsenal. They're blown it in the light. But finishing second place, yes, if I was an Arsenal fan, I'd be happy. But I think, in my opinion, I think we should have won the title because it's there for the taking. It's like Newcastle. We've been in the top four for a while now, right? If we finish seventh, right, I'll be disappointed because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, we've gone from fourth to Europa Super, Europa Conference, yeah? But before mm-hmm. people say, yeah, but we come a long way, right? This is our first season of the project under Eddie Howe, first, Eddie's first full season, right? Yeah. We, the next three games, Tottenham, Everton away, and Southampton, it's going to be massive. Yeah. It's going to be massive. And I tell you what, right? We get nine points out of them. I think you need two more wins. And two more I have wins an analogy to make, if if I may, uh, Papi. Um, basically, go ahead, go ahead. have you seen that commercial with the Duracell bunny running and running and running, like you know the the rabbits, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Arsenal is like that Duracell bunny. You know, they were leading the race, they were running and running, and they, you know, at the end of the yeah, day, yeah. the Duracell battery is going to empty. And this is the analogy they like to to use for Arsenal, in a certain sense. They they couldn't power up properly, like, you know, towards the end of the season. And I predicted this to happen. But, I mean, if I look at you, John, and, and your team, Newcastle, I mean, if if I asked you last season, you know, if you were to finish top four, you'd probably snap my hand, right? <laughs> to say, yeah. yeah, thank you. I take that, right? So that's Absolutely. what I'm saying. Like, you know, we should be grateful. Like, you know, if I look at Manchester United season as well, last season, because... We were down tooling. We were like really, really crap last season. But if we finish third or fourth, like, you know, I take that because for us, it was never about the challenge. It was about the rebuild. It was about to see the new manager, to see Eric Ten Hag's style of football. And I'm actually, we, we, let me put it out <laughs> to you. Excuse me for ranting. I've been drinking too much coffee today. If Arsenal finished second and United finished third, who had. Mm-hmm had a better season. I mean, obviously, we won the trophy. We won the sugar drink. You beat us as well, didn't you? <laughs> I like that sugar drink. Yeah. Um, I mean... For me, personally, um, I would say Arsenal for me because, yes, you won the trophy, but you had some poor defeats, haven't you, along the way, right? Arsenal, they've gone from if to top and they just fell to win a title. I mean, at least Arsenal's a, were in a title race, yeah? And I'll be honest, yeah? I mean, being second ain't bad at this moment in time. But I think, personally, they should have won the title. Look at the games they should have won, like I said. But we'll be, I think we've got to be Arsenal. We must be Arsenal to, to get top four. But Man United, for me, I mean, he had, he had a poor start, Man United, poor start. And then he turned it around, right? But now you've got injuries now. You've got um, Martinez going to be out. Varane is injured. And you just... Um, Casemiro, so your player of the season for me, Casemiro. People say in Rashford, but Casemiro is your player of the season. But I can't you mile. That guy has made a difference. It took years to get a replacement for Roy Keane. This guy comes in oh, yeah. and he's just taken it by storm, this guy. It's a Kino with a tan, what are we saying? We call him at Manchester United fan base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, Absolutely. but but one thing, one thing we have to mention about Arsenal though is that they they whether they win the league or not, they've set a, a certain um, blueprint of if you're a club and you wanna be successful, you have to believe in your manager, and yeah. it has to go more than two transfer windows or three transfer windows for it to really really see what that manager is about. And it's kind of weird though, or kind of ironic that this is the season with the most. Uh, sackings, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so so there's that new manager bounce theory as well that comes into play. But Arsenal and what Arteta have done has been, you know, really remarkable in my opinion. I don't know. What do you think, Omar? Do you think like because because there was a time when 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 for me. I didn't rate Arteta at all. I just thought, oh, Pep's assistant who's just copying, you know what I mean? And then from there, you were like, hold on. There was a, hold on a second. Did you have that moment or more? No. No, I didn't have, listen, I do not, I do not like Arsenal. I would never respect Arsenal. Like, listen, I said they're not going to win the league. I said by May, by May 7th, they will not win the league. I chose yeah. that this specifically because they're going to play Brighton 
They're going to play Brighton on May 14, Newcastle May 7. And now I'm looking at the list. They have Chelsea May, May no, Newcastle May 7, Chelsea May 2nd. And I don't know when they're going to play. They're going to play City next week. Like, I already knew, like, yeah. they had all these easy games and now the tough games are coming up. The game, like, where people are like, yo, I want to stay top four. I'm not trying to drop no more points. This is where the tough game come in. And, like, this season, this season is not over until the last month of the season because that's where everybody needs everybody needs a win. Everybody needs a win. Even we need a win. Newcastle needs a win. Or is the class again to, over to the fat ladies thing? Oh. They need wins. Yeah. I agree with you, Momo. Because oh. you, you are here play early on in the season, people, teams are picking up. They're not ready. Like, they're still lax and stuff like that. But Arsenal were, like, on gear, like gear four ready to go. Every game ready to go. But now towards the end, everybody's like, hey, I need I need my win now. So, like, yeah. Arsenal's come like, yeah, I'm trying to win the league. And people are like, nah, I need my win now. Hmm. I hear you. It's, it's well, basically, Poppy, what you were saying is the year of the sacking, right? Yeah. True. I mean, yeah. if it, this year was a new lunar year in the Chinese uh, calendar, they should add the year of the sacking instead of the year of the rats or the year of the, <laughs> <life>. <laughs> the year of the sacking. <laughs> <laughs> true, but it's true. been insane, basically. Potter, uh, who else got sacked? Conte, all them jazz. You know, if I look at Chelsea, oh my God. You know, three managers in, this, in a year and a half. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, guys, that is Arsenal. I just want to switch our, our conversation real quick to also something that happened this week. We had the Champions League and the quarter uh, and and the Europa League um, and Europa Conference League, obviously. But you know what? How how um, we saw Manchester United get knocked out of the um, Europa League, and um, yeah, can we get your especially you guys, you Manchester United, um, um, Omo and and um, Mick, how did you guys feel about go, it? Go, Omo, go, go, go. What's your short speed yeah, about man, it? Man, just make it for, brief and then... For, and and then it, it, yeah. it was a whole disgrace. It, it's, not, it's not like... It's not like how... You, it's not like... It's not like you lose, it's how you lose. My whole yeah. point of the season is how we lose. It's like how we lose matches. Like, how do we draw that? We're two or up and decide to draw and now we... Now we're looking back at the first game, like, oh, what we're gonna shoot, we're gonna should we should have done this, should have done that. But can nobody anticipate us just blowing a to a lead and we just we just we shot ourselves in the foot? Like we should, we great give them chances. They didn't they never that good. They never that good. We're like, hey, attack us. Oh, you don't have the ball here, have the ball and attack again. Like it's training session. To us, we're training to lose to Sevilla. We just give them the ball, attack us again, attack us again. They, like this, this whole team. Like usually, I'm like, oh, this whole team gotta go. I'm just put it like that. If you're here doing Ole era, listen, your time is up. Your time is up. You can't be, you can't be here for like over eight, nine years. You don't have that winning mentality in you. And people, and I heard the people yesterday say we don't need Bruno. I'm like, listen, you, yeah. you, know, you, don't, you don't know what this team needs. You know, yeah, we lost the game. Team. Yeah, people said we lost the game because of Bruno. But yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, we lost the game because Bruno is not playing. And one more thing, people are gonna say like, "Oh, they here shouldn't play that pass Maguire." I'm like, we've done that this whole season since day zero, since day zero, since that two one loss to Brighton, that four one loss to Bre- um four zero loss to Brentford. We've been doing this since day zero, since training. So don't tell me because Maguire is there, we're gonna do something new. I don't want to hear it. I, I, I hear you. Go, go ahead, Mick. Manchester United. I've done my piece for that. I've done my rant about that. But when you speak, when you break down the uh, word Manchester United, there's men. And there was no men on the pitch yesterday. And there's chest. We actually wear the badge. And nobody was actually wearing that badge, representing that badge. And there was no cohesion whatsoever. It was a broken link. And I'm sorry to say, if I call a spade a spade, for me, it was like watching a David Attenborough documentary of a snail's funeral, where this stream is sponsored by Men in Black because definitely it was a funeral for me. All I want to do is take this rod, press the thing, and forget about it. And I've done it today, but I got to lay it out. I got to drop a truth bomb for me after I analyzed everything and I thought about everything, Papi, to be honest to say that. We know that Varan and, and Martinez is the preferred centre-back pairing. But whenever Harry Maguire comes on, yeah. think about this. 
the broken communication between him and David De Gea is totally, there is no link of communication. I mean, I've seen it so many times where he's asking for the ball, De Gea passes it to him, and he, he's like Titanic, hot potato, or it's a hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, and loses the ball, right? Mm-hmm. And then I see BT Sports going all in for yapping 20 minutes, Robbie Savage yapping 20 minutes, defending Harry Maguire, right? Mm-hmm. All I have to say is that the reason why we didn't um, succeed yesterday has to go back to the first leg, right? Mm-hmm. If we had scored the third or fourth, the substitution for Ten Hag, he, he should have kept on Bruno, you know? He should never have left Bruno out. You know, because Bruno got his second yellow, so he couldn't play in Sevilla anyway, right? So, barring that, we could have been 3 nil up, 4 nil up, whatever, whatever. But it is what it is, you know what I mean? It's simply not good enough. Uh, you know, Eric Ten Hag needs to look at himself in the mirror to say, look, you know, I get it. He's a gaffer. A gaffer will never go out in the public to, like Jose Mourinho, to slag and throw his players under the bus. But surely, surely deep inside, he must be fuming and thinking these players needs to go in the summer. Therefore, there needs to be a massive overhaul. And Harry Maguire, for me, it's not a Manchester United player. Scott McTominay is not good enough for either. There's so many players that needs to go. You know, they're just eating a chunk of that wage bill, including Brandon Williams and all that Deadwood. So for me, it's all about what we, where do we go from here, Poppy? You know, yeah, no, it's it. Uh, We're playing I, I, the I, FA Cup, right? We're playing the yeah. semi-final in Wembley. You know, I expect the bounce back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe this was just a shake that we needed to just make sure that we. It's a wake-up we, call. You know, we we were on track um, versus Brighton. Well, I'll be. But just for the record, this... for the record, you know yeah. me, right? I never slag the players. You know, I'm a yeah, legacy yeah. fan. It's yeah. all about the badge, the club, the manager, yeah. back your team, everything. But I had enough since yesterday. You know, yeah. you got to call John, a spade a spade. John, I, I, have saw, a I saw the highlights. I saw, I saw the highlights of that game. Yeah, I, saw, yeah. I saw the highlights of that game. And the goals conceded, the first goal is an absolute joke. I mean, you got, to, you got to play the ball from the back. you got to do it really well. you got to do it so well. Mm. De Gea passed to Maguire, and Maguire just didn't have a clue. One Hot nil. potato. Hot potato. And then the mm. third goal was just even laughable to hear. I don't know what he's thinking of, but I think Ten Hag is going to get a keeper. He's going to buy a keeper in the summer. I think he will. I'm sorry to say. I think so too. He's going to... And the key you need to buy is Mike Maynard from Milan. Yeah. You need yeah. to get him. Or yeah. go and get, get Dorgan Costa. The problem you're going to get Costa, he's got a release clause to 75 million quid. He's just on a five-year deal. Yeah, back in the summer. Yeah, that's going to be difficult. But Maynard... The guy, the French keeper, he's the French number one now, plays with AC Milan. I think this guy's brilliant. He's, for me, yeah. I think he's the best keeper in Europe, in the world, for me. But they throw it back, like, you know, as what they say, you know, Ten Hag will never go in, in, in the press conference to say, yeah, you know, but of course he's going to say, yeah, Martial is great. I love Martial. I love the hair. I love all these players. Like, he's not that person, but we know that he's very impatient. He said him himself in numerous presses, I have limited patience and I want to win now. So definitely I see there's a lot of players that's going to be looked at. Just let's mm. finish the season. I don't care if we crawl, you know, play on one leg, just get it over the line. And then we talk, you know, then we look at it in the summer, barring that we get new ownership as, as well. As an Eric Hart always defends his player. Like, he's not going to talk about, any, he's not going to talk bad about any of them in the press or call them out. Like, he will always defend the players. And that I, I like that about him. He speaks on the pitch. He speaks for yeah. his football on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me just get through a few of these comments, and then from there we can um, segue on to the next item um, real quick. Um, even though we didn't talk about the Champions League, it's all good. Um, um, real Spursy says, uh, "Yes, yeah, squad depth same as Manchester United, non-existent, and definitely shades of last year. Trying to make top four, lost three games on the bounce, nine points, and three, three. points ahead of mm-hmm. the scum. <laughs> uh, history repeats. Didn't buy adequately in January and whammy. Yeah, yeah." It's definitely a cycle that we're seeing over and over again. Shout out to you, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie says, Eddie. Up our hour. John Realist and Sanchez dead. Great panel. Us now. Big up, rightfully... Eddie. Yes, Big Eddie. Eddie. Shout Eddie. out to you. <laughs> Paul says, a minute of silence for Arsenal's Premier League title that they won back in the winter. 
I'll bring out the black. <laughs> I tie the, the black armband here. <laughs> That's too funny, Paul. <laughs> uh, Eddie said, John, I think that is a bad call with Ancelotti. Arsenal play a specific brand, right? They would need a high press manager like Pep, Nigel's men, Ten Hag to progress, in my opinion. Well, yeah, thing is, right, Ancelotti, um, he's won, he's won things, right? Don't forget that, like, yeah. he's won Champions League, he's won La Liga, he's won Premier League titles, um, the German League as well, and he's won the French League as well. For me, I think Ancelotti would be the right fit for us, I really, really do. If you saw a couple of seasons, like, you know what I mean, they need a winner there. I mean, Arteta's great, mm. he's a good, he's a, he's a good manager, but you can't put him and Ancelotti in the same, save, um, sentence, really, because... I'm just going to get, he's going to go anywhere at the end of the season, no matter what. But if he doesn't win the Champions League, he'll be sacked. If he doesn't win the La Liga, he's not going to win La Liga now, he'll be sacked. Yeah. If he wins a lot, he could still be sacked. But at the end of the yeah. day, right? I mean, Ancelotti is still a stellar coach. He's an elite manager. He's yeah. a champion. He won things. Yeah. He won things. And if anyone gets him, right? Unless he doesn't go to Brazil, by the way, if anyone gets the lad, I tell you what, you got a winner there. You've got a winner there. Angelotti, Simeone, you got um managers there as well, you know, world class, like you know, out there. Someone's gonna come and make a difference. Nagel's win's gonna come. Whoever gets him, Enrique is available, Poch is available, he could be on his way to Chelsea. A lot of managers. You know, let's be real. If Oslo was a title, then it's Arteta the answer. I'm not sure. But let's be real as well. Like, you know, there was breaking news today, also to say that Nagelsman turned down Chelsea. So Nagel's man can be one for, for Arsenal as well, right? Could yeah. be, could be. Could be. But I don't think they sack him. They're not sack him. They're not sack him. They're not going to sack him, no. Why no? But the thing is, though, Spurs' job's available. He's going to go there and work for Levy. That's another thing. I just can't Nobody. see any elite manager's going to go there. They might have talked to Conte. They might have talked to Josie as well. Do you know what I mean? Ask him what Levy's like to work for. And you know what? He's an absolute nightmare. He doesn't lose the purse strings. You know what I mean? I spoke to Brian. He came on my channel yesterday and he told us exactly that. Well, there's, there's a similarity the, the way I see it. He's a Ed Woodward 2.0 and same with Todd Bowley. They are the same characters pretty much. Like, you know, narcissistic, mm -hmm. don't listen to the managers and overhauls everything in terms of the transfer market, which is a sad thing for football. Yeah. It is, it is, man. It, but Todd Bowie, all right, let's be real. I mean, he's won 600 mil and hasn't even got a centre forward. But and Kuku is there next season for Leipzig as well. That could and be 100 million the Lukaku loan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's not coming back. Oh my god, he's done mediocre. Not Lukaku and Kuku Big game Lukaku. Uh, for yeah. Leipzig. Yeah, Oof. 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 what Lordy, a man. What a madness. Well, anyway, let us segue on to the second uh, portion of the stream today. I want to play this little quick game with you guys. Um, and um, we pretty much everybody has to choose a team name. So I'm just going to go ahead with you, uh, um, John. What team name do you want to start with? Um, uh, or, or what, what team do you, do, do you want your name to be? It can be John Sinclair TV FC if you want. <laughs> it can be whatever. Um. I'll go with um, John Sinclair TV. Why not? Hi, JS TV. Let's do I that. Do. Let's. Nick, what about you? Uh, first and foremost, to be fair to John, better remove that uh, banner, Champions League, Europa League. Is you covering it up? <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, you really don't see John. You have to go with the Realist TV, MUFC Realist TV, then. You know me, puppy. Okay. Realist. Let's go, Realist. Yeah, go Realist Realist. TV, boom. And then almost uh, Sancho's dad. Just put Omo, O M O. Omo <laughs> FC, that's what. Omo. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, so this game is pretty simple. You, we pretty much um, play uh, each match day. And, um, you know, because there's um, three contestants, I think one of them will be a bonus. So it'll we'll, we'll just kind of just check out what that question is. And then um, whoever knows the answer, you know, we'll just kind of just um, allocate the, the, the answer to whoever answers that question first. So um, this is how it goes. We have a wheel and I have to input your team names real quick. So we have this wheel right here boom so Ooh. it is realist 
Realist TV, um, John Sinclair TV, and Omo oh, FC. All right. So this cool. is how we pretty much decide whose turn it is. And we're going to go on merch day one first and just go ahead and be like, all right, the first person to go is John Sinclair. <laughs> Woohoo! John Sinclair TV, let's go. Let me remove this banner real quick. And now, so as I as I said, um, the, there's a list of questions, right? And these questions are sort of more or less arranged in order of difficulty, but that's not always 100% the case. But um, in general, 400 points is a little bit harder than 100. A uh, hundred points question. So, John, which one are you going with on match day one? Hundred points or four hundred or two hundred or three hundred? Oh, that's a big one. Listen, I'm gonna go with um, I go with a hundred first start. Yeah, start with a hundred. Hundred, you know, you know how I usually classify these things. By the way, it's it's like this. A hundred is a tap in. Two hundred <laughs> is like a penalty, and then three hundred is like a corner <laughs> kick, and then four hundred is like a long free kick. You know, so so a hundred is a good choice. You most likely have a chance of getting it right. Let's find out. Match day one. Well, question for you, John. Man United winger Anthony has only one assist in the Premier League so far. Is this true or false? Oh, I think it's I think it's false as far as I can remember. You said false? As far as I can remember. <clears throat> As far as you can remember, it is. I want to know your final answer. We need you to say it with confidence. Is it we'll, go we'll go false. We'll go false. We'll go with false. All yeah. right. Um, unfortunately, that is the 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 statement is true. He has only wow. had one as he has assisted in other competitions, though. But yeah, but just this a few days ago, he he registered his his assist uh, to Diogo Dalo. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, all right. Second goal. All right, all right, all right. There's so many right. games to be played this season. Oh, I see. We played this out. We, yesterday was our 56th game. <laughs> My players are tired. <laughs> Let's uh, hold on. Let me remove Johnson Clear. That effect. I should do this. Boom. Copy that. Oop. Copy. And then now I can do that. All right, cool. Now, who's going to go next? Is it going to be? Oops! Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, Mick. <laughs> All right. Cool. Oh, pretty much. Okay, right. I'm gonna. You know, I passed the stretching exercise. So I go straight to two hundred. Two hundred. It is. All is right. That a header. <laughs> Let's see. Since the inception of the Premier League in '92, right, more than two hundred players have scored hat tricks. Who was the first player to score a hat trick, Mick? Do you know? Oh, crap! I just have to take a guess. Yeah. No, I don't know. Actually, no. '92. Who was the Who was the first player to score a hat trick since it launched? '92. He scored a lot of goals. I can tell you that. On the comments section, they say 50 cent. Don't look at the comments. <laughs> I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> they're not reliable. <laughs> oh, God, no. Jesus. Um, I feel like it is, actually. I could be wrong on it. Oh, Jesus Christ. 92. <gasps> it is not Brian Dean, says Brush. No. <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. Um... I might be right, I might be wrong. I don't know. 92. Just say a legend. It's <coughs> just guess. Just guess know. a legend. You might get it with a with a random guess, you know. A legend who used to score lots of goals, you know. Which team used to dominate back then a lot, you know, especially come on. It, 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 just just you have about 30 seconds to go, by the way. Ah. I, 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 it's too late for me, right? Seriously, it's like, not Dr. Umar, <laughs> it's not, um, it's not definitely Dr. Man United <laughs> player, definitely Manchester United player, but I just can't. Ooh, you're so close, just say a name so that we can move on with the question. Uh, fuck, who was that? 
I, I'm blank. I, I can't think, mate. Um, Just geez. say the, the a white. player that used to play that's not playing anymore that scored a lot of goals in the Premier League. It's it's not that hard, Mick. Wait a minute. I'm thinking Ooh. 92. Good shout. Good shout. York is out there. York, the yeah, York. York. Yeah, I was no, saying no, York. No, yeah. no, no, sorry. I shouldn't be reading what's what's in the chat. But it's not York. Just say what. Say, say a different player. No, I was I was thinking Yorkie, but no. Okay. Uh, Sheringham, maybe. Sheringham is not a bad try. It is not Sheringham. It is not Sheringham, unfortunately. Does anybody else know in the house? Um, oh, John? I think it's Brian D. I think I think it's Shira. Alan Shira. <laughs> no. <Where> you <laughs> yeah, you, no, you got a good shot. Let us see. Yeah. It is Eric Cantona. Oh, King Cantona. Wow. He's got a hat trick. Oh, fuck. King Cantona. King Cantona. <clears throat> Sorry for swearing, mate. Yeah, King Cantona. Yeah, 92. You know. Correct. All right. All right. Well, the last person, obviously. I'm going for 400. Um, you got to go for 400. Was too difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I like the chest. I like it. All right. All right. So with four for 400 points. Um let us see. What is um name two Manchester United players and their respective injuries? <laughs> that is so easy for you, Omo. For 400 <laughs> points. Wow. For 400 points. You passed the stretching already, right? Because <laughs> one and two were too hard. One hundred and two hundred was too hard. I'll go for Marshall Ankle, the son of Martinez Ankle. All right, that is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Ankle injuries for them, and then you know we have we have also um, Donny, who's got a knee injury. Mm. You know, we've got Rafa ankle injury, foot injury. Um, Tom mm -hmm. Hinton also ankles. What's going on with the ankles? Ganacho. Eric Tenhart has them running in the training ground. <laughs> he just has them running. So he's got a pit bull there on the on the carton, like you know, chasing them, biting their ankles, <laughs> or a sheepdog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. All right. And then the one for bonus points for three hundred. All right. This one is gonna be. Whoever shouts the answer first, let's go for 300. Who's the Chilean manager that won the Premier League? Um, Mano, Mano, Pellegrini. Rayola, no. No, what's his name? It is. Rainetti, for fuck's sake. What? It is Manuel Pellegrini and John oh, Sinclair. He's <laughs> Chilean. I don't even know who is Chilean. Chilean. Pellegrini, yes. Pellegrini. Yeah. Pellegrini. Um, and that was what, 400? City. No, no. That was and, he's still, and he's still coaches. He's still manager. He does. Batista. Batista. Pellegrini. Manuel Pellegrini, yes. Something is up with my scoreboard. All right. Moving on to match day two. Match day two. Let us go to our wheel. And put our number. All right, let's go. Match day two. We have Realist TV going first this time. All right. I'm going hard. Since I bottled the first one, I got 400 straight in. All in. Okay. All right. Give it to Four me, puppy. 400. <laughs> let's go for 400 points. Which player leads the stats in own goals in the Premier League this season, Mick? On goals? Uh, Harry Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> this season for on goals. Um... Oh, God. Who is it? Definitely not from Manchester United. Um... Oh, God. Oh dear. <sighs> For own goals this season. I don't have a clue, to be honest. I just did a, a guesswork. Um mm. Mm, mm, mm. Macy's in the building. We like to welcome Maisie in the house. Hi. What's up, Maisie? Hey Maisie. Hi, Maisie. Maisie, I need your help here. 
I, <laughs> I think I know who it is because this person. I, can I have I a lifeline? I'm calling Macy here. I'm calling a lifeline. <laughs> Macy. <laughs> I think I know this because if I remember, he scored two own goals against Liverpool and it's Wout Fares from Leicester City. Yeah. Thank you. That's a good that was my amazing. lifeline. I was, I was going to say Emma Martinez from Villa. That's not a bad shout, but um, um, are you, you going to say a name, Mick? Uh, no, I'm, I went to the lifeline. I called up Macy and uh, yeah, I trust Macy. Macy, Macy suggested, yeah, it's a Leicester City player, and there's another player too as well. Um, all right, so Macy, oh, did yeah, you the say Leicester the name? Player. Did you say the name, Macy, or no? I can't well, Fares, Fares. Yes, yes, yes. That's, that name that's very hard to to pronounce. Look at this oh. own goal, guys. He scored two against Liverpool. Like he literally kept <laughs> Liverpool <laughs> with, uh, for the <laughs> win. <laughs> <laughs> and, and didn't he also score the first goal? He scored yes. both. <laughs> he scored both. Oh dear, oh dear. And that was the lead, so lead, lead, lead goal scorer wow. for, for Leicester at the yeah. moment, right? I wouldn't have got that one. The other person is Chris one. Chris Mantham. So anyway, let's put um uh, Macy in the in the in the hold on. Does that mean the four hundred points are mine? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, 50 50. We split. <laughs> What's your team name, Maisie? Uh, Maisie. I'll call myself Maisie. <laughs> Why not? All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do that. Do I need to have my camera on, by the way, just to ask? Um, no, but but it'll be nice for us to see you so we know <laughs> wait, that your eyes I, I'm are... Only, I'm, only, I'm only asking because I have, like, my gym jams on, but oh, I don't jam. mind. It's Friday. It's, Friday it's the Friday happy hour. It's so chill. It's relaxed vibe, <laughs> you know? So, so, so gym jams are great. Okay. And pink fluffy flip, uh, slippers as well. It's fine as well. Well, I've got, <laughs> I've got, like, these Ugg slippers what for christmas so i'm wearing my gray oak slippers with a robe on <laughs> there you go Macy. boom okay so 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 now we're back to the wheel um actually no mick just went right so there we go so now um so did i get 200 points so you get 400 by the help of my lifeline there right so, so yeah, here's the thing: when you get a lifeline, we split the points. We split the points okay. between you and Macy. So we make up so, the rule, like okay, we went to the VR room, right? Okay, that's it. <laughs> We're the best room. duo since uh, Andy and Dwight York. Andy Cole and Dwight York. Good to so hear your voice. You guys Macy. now have you know 200 why. points each. Realist and Macy, okay? <laughs> and John Sinclair's got 300, and Omo is leading with 400. That that's what this that's what it's looking like right now. All right, so let's go back to to this and figure out. Oh yeah, we need to figure out who's moving, who's going next. So boom, let us go. Let's spin the wheel, and I think it's gonna be Omo oh. FC. Macy, Macy. Joe, <laughs> I'm, I'm, Joe, I'm, it's Omo. All right. I'm going for I'm going for a hundred. Omo is going for the hundo. Okay, oh, come we love on. it. We love it. Might it. Be one is very one easy. Is there's usually a 50% chance of getting it right. So, name four managers sack this season. I don't want no four managers at the second. Are you, getting <laughs> <simple questions? laughs> you know what? I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna put my clothes uh, my clothes on. Give me a minute. I don't want. I don't want no four managers that have been sacked this season. I don't care about other teams. <laughs> and I do not care about other teams. Let's look at the table. <laughs> this is a, this this season in particular. So many managers. If you close your eyes, uh... you can you can just think of at least four. I'm sure. Graham Potter, that's one. That, I think that's about it. That's good on the table. No, no. I don't know this. I don't care about other teams. I do not listen. I don't respect other teams that I gotta look at them. And I look at the Go table, see. Manchester United, and I look away. That's all I care I, about. Uh, can we can we can we I'll make a question, new I'll rule? Tell you question. I'll tell you questions though, probably not like <laughs> this this is, the, this is the wrong person to ask this question. Well, you puppy, can, puppy, you can, can we make it through? You're three managers away. There's so many managers that were sacked. I'm sure if you think. Just, what, just... What, what teams are in the Premier League? <laughs> Stop being so negative. Just think about it. Okay. <laughs> we're sacking. Like Potter's the only one I know. Potter? But that's Who else? Who else? Arsenal. There's, there's Arsenal, there's City. 
The United is Newcastle. I don't care about anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You're we should introduce out. it. I, I, should, I pass. I pass. You're okay. miss out I have to pass. I don't care about. Where's other my school. button? Can I? Can... <laughs> we should introduce a new rule. Like if you pass, then we have to hit the button quickly, and whoever hits the button quickly gets to take over the question. There we go. All right, you but, hit the button, Mick. But, okay. hold, up, in the, hold up, in there, Arsenal legend that got fired. Listen, I don't care about the team. <laughs> Part of Vieira. Those are the only two. Fight. Pass. Oh, you see, you see, you actually, if you had thought about it even a little bit more, I'm sure Omo you would get there. But okay, go ahead. <laughs> who, 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 who's manager? I care about players. It's give me manager question. Give me player question next time. <laughs> I pass. The question was actually, I had put it as name two managers. Then I was like, two is too easy. There's been so many sackings. Come on, come on, come on, Mick. Give us, give uh -huh. us two. Conte, Potter. Okay. I think Lampard was also sacked from Everton. And if I remember correctly, uh, shit. No, I just got a brain freeze as well. Hang on. Who oh, was the Gerard. Oh, yeah, Gerard as well. Yeah. This is the yeah, and, and, Mar and, and Jesse Marsh as well got this sacked. Yeah. I know all four. There's I know, plenty. I know, I know a lot. I know a lot. There's a lot. I mean, I said four there anyway, so. I don't care about Nathan Jones. Question. Yeah, Nathan Jones. Even well. literally you think two just off Chelsea, like with two cool and Potter, and then you're halfway there. Yeah, two cool and Potter got sacked the same season. Yeah, yeah the, the list is long. The list is John. Do you have a few that you want to add in? Do you have a name that you want to add? I think you think you covered it. Like, you know, Hatahusu, um, Piera, Scott Parker. Um, Parker, yeah, Parker. Yeah, you, you you get fired. Barney, Parker, yeah, Parker. Yeah. You got um, mm -hmm. two cool. You got um, like yeah, Conte, yeah, you you like Conte Rogers as well, Ben Rogers as well. Yeah. Um, Steve Cooper, not yet, not him. Um, yeah, Bruno Large, him. Bruno Large, yeah, Bruno Large, and um, and uh, pay up large. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah, no, that's that, that's all of them. That's all of them. That's all of them. Well, 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 this one nobody could really name four. So the point I did name uh, four. Then, yeah, no, CC because I should did that. I did name. I did mention four, didn't I? Well, 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 no, well, Mickey did not I, mention. I, 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 I did. did. Managers. Go back to the VR room. I did mention four. Honest to God, <laughs> I did. There's there's just a long list. All right, all right, all right. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on with the wheel then. Fine. All right. So, um, Macy and John, this is for this is what are you guys has to go? And I think it's gonna be John. John, which one are you going for? There is 200 and 300 left. Oh, I'll go for two. I'm gonna go mad. I'm gonna go 300. Why not? Three. Why right. not? Go for the three. Go big. I'll What's the name it. of the stadium for AC Milan and uh, the name of the stadium for... Oh, Napoli? John knows we're going oh. <laughs> Wow. If I don't know this, I'm going to get shot. I know. John knows both of these. <laughs> um, in Milan, um, San Siro and San Napoli was the San Paolo, but now it's changed to Diego Maradona Stadium. <laughs> Wow, wow, amazing, 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 amazing. That 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 right there is is commendable. Yep. All right, all right. And then last but not least, maybe you obviously have to go for the last one, which is the 200. All right. So Macy for 200 points. Who is the current coach of AC Milan? Oh, Oh, <laughs> I don't watch much Italian football. I don't know. Oh, is that boring one? I think I know it. I tell you, it's not. It's not. It's not only. <laughs> I know, I know who it is. <laughs> SP. SP. Macy, you're still, you're not frozen, right? Your Wi-Fi is still good. <laughs> I'm back. My Wi-Fi was like really bad. 
Okay, oh. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pass it. I don't know it. Go on. Any, any... Oh, John asked for it. <laughs> um, Stefano Pioli. I... Oh, yes. Ma che cosa? Mi chiedi blu, hai sempre di alza di answer. I don't watch I watch Italian football. <laughs> I couldn't even say. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. this, this See, guy is not talking about it enough. He's, he's not talked about enough, but Elian, we talked about De Zerbi, and this is another coach that really is on. If manager watch that I, I feel like he's like almost like the Italian Ten Hag, not because he has a bald head, but he's 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 really turned things around with AC Milan. Yeah, and in the Champions League. Except well, that yeah. I actually wanted to share real quick. It was like from, from an, an article I read about him, it was like saying something like this. After a long career with several noteworthy Italian sides, including Inter Milan, Lazio, and Fiorentina, it is at Milan that Pioli has done his best work, returning the team to the elite of Italian football. The season before that historic title win uh, in what was Pioli's first full campaign with the club, Milan finished second in the table in doing so, they qualified for Champions League for the first time in eight years. You, and, you know, that's that's sort of like Milan has been that sleeping giant and this guy has been sort of behind the resurgence of Milan. And right, look at where they are in the Champions League now, you know? Yeah. With washed up strikers. And Italian like League is going to be in the final as well. Italian side's going to be in the final, either in Milan or Inter. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Italian football is back, people. It's back. And all people back. said Italian football is boring, then I suggest we watch the league. It's yeah, anything but yeah. boring. Look at Napoli. Napoli's sensational this season. Oh, yeah. Lazio. Sarri Boas back. I'm telling you, you know. Milan. I mean, he's turned it to put it together now, Pioli. Inzaghi's on the pressure. You know, he needs to get to the final. He needs to win something. Otherwise, he'd be done. And um, Roma, Jose. Well, is he going to stay with Roma next season? I think he will, you know. Right, right. Well, let us yeah, move on. Jose also qualified for the Europa League semis. Um, yeah. I think the big Leverkusen. I think Josie final way, and it's good to see Fiorentina in the semi final as well. By the way, so it's, and Juve could go to the mm. final. You never know. And oh yeah, that... about that. But I ask you a question before I go into the next one. <clears throat> Who's the last okay. country to do a clean sweep? The last country to do a clean sweep. Uh, the European Cup, the Cup Winners Cup, UEFA Cup back in 1990. The only country to do it, the clean sweep. Italy. Yeah. Yeah. Milan um, won the Champions League. Um, Napoli won the UEFA Uf, Uf, Cup and Sam Doyle won the Cup Winners' Cup. Thank you for, for sharing that, John. All right, let's go. Match week three. Here we go. Here we go. All right, let's spin the wheel again and see who is going first for match day three. Realist TV again. Oh, Always again. Me. Again Always and again. Me. You never know what we're right. going to get. I gotta play. I, I've been going all in, like, you know, but I, I think I need some points, mate. I, I think I will go for 200, to be honest. Go for the go play it I'll safe. Play it safe. Play, play it safe. You know, oh, you say, which... For 200, which Premier League goalkeeper has committed the most errors leading to a goal this season? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this is a hot topic. <laughs> Why do I get all the hot topics, you know, and, and Omo gets all the easy ones? Are you having the UEFA hot balls, right? The hot balls kind of thing? Um, <laughs> to be honest, which EPL goalkeeper has committed the most errors? Um Wow. Leading to a goal this season. Jesus. David De Gea? No. Is David De Gea your final answer? Yes. It is not David De Gea. Oh, give me... oh, oh, I wasn't going to say him anyway. I was going to say Danny Ward. <laughs> from oh, you were going to say Danny Ward. <laughs> <laughs> no, look at I, this. I was going to say Martinez from Aston Villa. I don't like him. <laughs> Look at this Hugo Yoris howler right here. Oh. oh. Like how 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 yeah. does that, that you know? Uh, I remember this. I was watching it live. <laughs> if it was last season or season before, I would say Kepa, but okay, that was then. Oh god. That's horrific, horrific. Is he still playing? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think he's been benched. 
Yeah, it's Hugo Lloris. It's Hugo Lloris. Okay, well, let's keep the wheel going. No points for for that one. <laughs> Hugo Lloris. And it's going to be John. John, 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 John. Which Johnny. One are we going with Johnny. Oh, I just, um, spilled, I just spin, spilled the thing. I just spinned it. It's it, yeah, John is yeah, it's done. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna go mad. I'm gonna go for the Fionji. It's working for us at the minute. Which one? I, I got distracted by 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 what? reading um uh, no sorry by I'll reading go. one of the comments. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Course, I got distracted. I'll go. I'll go go 300. This 300 time. it go is. It, go, 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 go. All right. Who's the goalkeeper with the most saves in the Premier League this season at this very moment, John? Oh. And the time's ticking, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Let me put that time. Means the defense, that means the defense has to be that good, hasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, yes. That's a good I'll have to, to go with the team. I'm going to have to go with the team since I've got good defense. That's the thing. Um... That's a good question. I can either go with two. I can go with I'm um, Ramsdale, or I can go with uh, Pickford. I'll go with Gort Jordan Pickford. I'll take a gamble. Ooh, Pickford is a good try. Very good try. But it is David Ramsdale. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I get shaken. I it. Oh. Wow. Oh damn! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I knew it was David. I knew it was David Raya. Oh, I, I love David Raya. Oh. Yeah, he's done 131. You know what, Macy? He could be joining you in the summer. Oh, right. I'd be happy. I'd yeah. be happy. Relax, uh, relax. No, relax, mate. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Next, next, next. It's going to be. Come on. Why is this question as easy? Oh, it's Macy. Oh, dear. Right. I got All the right. easy question. 100 uh, or 400. Which one do you want, Macy? I'll have the 100 one. Oh, 100. <laughs> For 100 points. True or false? Pope Francis is a friend of Lissandro Martinez. True. It is very true, Pope Francis. Uh, he literally actually... had a picture today. Uh, Wait, that picture is uh... real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think I, I thought like it was like a Photoshop. I didn't think it was real. No, that is a real picture. Yeah. It, it is. It is. And uh, yeah, it's such a such a strange thing, you know. <laughs> but but we love it. We okay. love it. All right. Okay, now... I think it's a difficult question. It's probably also easy. that was that was an easy hundred points then for me. <laughs> that was your hundred. Oh, let me make sure I put in your hundred, Maisie. Because yeah, there we go. Boom. All right. Now, Omo for four hundred points. This is an easy question. I think I know where it is. Four hundred points, Omo. Are you ready? No. no. Which player? <laughs> which player has scored <laughs> the most headed um... goals this season in the Premier League? There's only two choices. Is that machine? It could be Machine Haaland or it could be Mitrovic. Oh, this is annoying. Mm. Take a second and think about it. <laughs> I don't want to think too long. It cannot <laughs> be Manchester United because we don't score header. Machine Haaland is definitely not, definitely not Liverpool. Definitely not that team. Yeah, what other team is in the league? Newcastle don't score header. No, not them. Isak don't score header. What other team is in the league? Brian don't score header. Not even Ferguson. Is that a Mitchell Vico Holland? Wighurst. I already said Mitchell Vico Holland. I already said Mitchell Vico Holland. Unfortunately, yeah. it is Harry Kane. Ooh. How did he even get here? <laughs> Somehow. I want to follow Kane. Harry Kane. You know, he leads and and yeah, yeah, it's one of those things where <laughs> I'm surprised you too, you know? how, how did you get here? Yeah, true. He, he should have like 20 penalties by that. Oh, okay, Harry Kane. Shout out to Harry right. Kane. For 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 a hundred points, um who is number two after Harry Kane? Bonus hundred points for anybody. Marcus Rashford. That's your answer. Anybody else? Mitrovic. 
Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland. They were clear. All obvious. right. The 100 points go to Mick and Daisy. It's Erling Haaland. Mitrovic is third. With six, with with four headers, Erling Haaland has six headers, and Harry Kane has nine headed headed goals. This I didn't season. even get there. I know it's so so <laughs> scary. <laughs> right, because Kane has a, always a slow season, but he kind of catches up at the very end, right? That's so, Kane. Four hundred for Macy, and then Mick as well gets a hundred, which makes that six hundred. All right, Woo-hoo! moving on, moving on. Uh, match day four, match day four. We are going through with the season. It's almost ending. My goodness. Uh, John is leading. Will he do the Arsenal bottle job? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so, John um, and Realist. All right, let's spin the wheel again. Okay, so who is going first? It is Macy this time. All right. All right. You get the first pick this time, Macy. Give me a 300. 300. (laughs) (laughs) We won't go for the hard one, but not too hard. Who has received the most red cards this season in the Premier League, Macy? I'm going to go for Romero from Tottenham Hotspur. Who is is Listen, Romero your final answer? Who had to save the most record this season in the EPL? In the mm. EPL. <sighs> this is hard. I thought, yeah. I'm trying to think. Casemiro's at two as well, though, aren't it? I know Romero's yeah, at two. two. Cass is at two. I'm trying to think who else has been. Ooh. Add a record. Uh. No one from City I know has got a red card. Uh, Nick Pope's had a red card. It's only been one, I think, from one. Newcastle. Uh, Do not listen to that. No, sh- no, 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 no. It's, it's, Shaka, it's not. It's can't. not granite. It's not a granite shaka. Shaka like a boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh now oh, I'm boom, now boom. I'm debating out of Casemiro and Romero. You know, you know what? Right, I'm gonna say I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna go Casemiro. Casemiro, it is with two red cards, Macy. Amazing, amazing! Wow, what a score! You jumped. Yeah, maybe I was, I, was, I, was, I was, I was debating out them both because then I just clicked out the top of my mind at the end. The Mero, he has had one in the Premier League and he's had one in the Champions League. Nicely done, Mace. I was Nicely looking at that stats yesterday, Casemiro has a much red card. <laughs> Straight red card, too. <laughs> Nicely done. It's Casemiro. It's Casemiro. True. Um, wow. Which wow, is his wow, two wow. first red cards ever in his own career. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. And it was, it was never red. It was never red. We can debate this. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Shout out to you, I'm Ravi, I'm by the way. That's why you the name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Make you next, FUFC Realist TV. What do let's I get to go. pick? You get to pick. We have. What um, do I get? Four hundred available, two hundred and one hundred. Which one are you gonna go with? Oh, uh, you know me. If I, if you don't uh, risk, you don't drink champagne. Let's go four hundred. I need to catch up on John here. <laughs> All right, John and Macy are ahead of you right now. Well, no, John is at three hundred. What am I on? You I'm are, on 600. You are, yeah, you're second. You're second. Oh, no, let's go 200. Let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. Oh, you want to play it safe with 200? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a wise move, yeah, maybe. But we'll see if that let's was maybe a, a tap move. in, maybe. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let us see. Let me put Tap us in. Team. Let's go. For 200, who has scored the most penalties in the Premier League this season? Oh, shit. Okay. I think I'll know this one. Okay. Actually, no one's debating out of two. I mean, it's no, nobody for Manchester United because we never get penalties anyway. That, 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 that's correct. That is correct. That yeah. is correct. I think I know. I know, I know. I know. I know. He's got it. I know it is. I know who this you is. Know. Oh God! Um, it's I not Mo Salah it. because he's spraying it to the left. <laughs> <laughs> True. Hundred percent. You know. Um, 
Who is the most scoring penalties? Jeez, City didn't get much pens. Um, God damn. Oh, it must be from Arsenal. Hang on a second. <sighs> oh. Gabriel Jesus, maybe? But he was injured. Harry Kane. Must be Harry Kane then from Spurs. I have him or one other person. I feel I know one. Can I tell you who the other Kane. person is? I go with Kane, Harry Kane. <clears throat> uh, he's been taking all the pens for us. It, 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 it is. Um, Kane is a, such a good shout. Even oh, Brush went with Kane. That's you know, um, the Harlan as well, yeah. Is it, is I, tell it, is you I, tell you I have another. Listen. I have one. I, I don't have know. One. No, Kane. If you want to, if you have an answer, Macy, you said you have an answer first. Who's who is it? Ivan Toner. Ivan Toner is a very, very good shout. So here's the thing. Ivan Tony is one of the people with the highest number of goals scored. Yes. Whoa. And somebody oh! yell. One more person. Um, he's, he's sharing okay, it with, with somebody. Um I'm gonna go. It's gonna be either Holland or Saka. It's one of the two. Erling Haaland. It's one of the two. I'm going to go with... I could be wrong on this, but I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to go with Haaland. All right. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, it is. It is Ivan, Tony, and Haaland. They are leading the pack. Yeah, oh, with the Grinish always dives. Grinish always dives. That's why. I, I don't like... he When he gets the ball as a penalty, I, I'm scared of... Like, I don't like Wait, does he, is these points for me now? So that means that means yes, this was um oh. so hold on. This question was for uh for Mick, me. right? And Mick didn't get it, but then Macy got a hundred. Oh, where, where is uh, Harry Cole Kane? I'm that. sorry, Kane. And then John yeah, also the only reason why I remember Diving Tony because he got a hat trick and two of the goals from that hat trick he was penalties and he's had a few penalties throughout the season as well. True. Damn, true, I should have gone for true. 400. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, so, we're, we're we... just dive, so that's why. Uh... Between Omo and John, let's find hot out. Potato, hot gonna... potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Let's go. I'm going for 400. It's going to be Omo, yeah. Okay, Omo is going for the 400. I'm going for the 400. Go big or go home. I'm ready. Who's got the fastest Champions League goal? Move on. Pato for the answer. Move on. <laughs> now we'll move it on to the house. Anybody who knows the answer? For 400 points, this is big, you know. This needs some football Pato knowledge. Pato Pato Erling Haaland. Erling Haaland. Okay, Erling Haaland is a try. Yeah, yeah. Who else? Anybody want to try? John um, Macy, anybody in the oh, house as well? No, no, hang on, Fox. Sorry, there was... There was uh, oh, oh, oh. God, God, I have it. Damn. The uh, thing is, I know the fastest Premier League goal, but not the fastest Champions League goal. Mm. <laughs> Pato, versus, Pato versus Barcelona. Oh, I don't know. I think it's got to be. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to go with. Yeah. It might be a lesser club as well. It might be meant to be an elite club, be a lesser club, but. For me, it I'm was... going to go with... i tell you what, sod it, sod it. It's not awesome. It's definitely not awesome. Um, can't be Chelsea. Definitely not Chelsea. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Nine, eight, I'll pass on that because I wouldn't Oh, know. wait a minute. Wasn't it... Uh... Celtic or Rangers, something Roy McKay, maybe, maybe, or was it Harlan? Oh, hang on, they did. Oh, that was sorry. Jeez. Benzema, Benzema, Benzema is your answer, yeah. James, because you're the one who said you're about, you about to answer. You said Benzema, Benzema is not the person who scored the fastest goal. It is not. It is not. Anybody else before I close the, the question for 400? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, Roy. one. Roy. Done. Closed. It is Roy McKenna. Roy McKenna. McKenna. How? 
Didn't I say Roy McCain just before? Uh, I don't know if you said I was. I, I did. I said Roy, Roy McCain. Yeah, yeah, he did actually. He did actually. Did yeah. He Roy said McKay. Harland or Roy McKay. Yeah, afterwards, I said Roy McKay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So remember I didn't this. Hear that. But uh, okay, well, we'll we'll give you your four hundred since somebody heard you. Mm -hmm. All right. That is the goal. That's the goal. It's Even though, because... like, you're taking me off first spot, I had to back you up here. <laughs> Thank you. Go to the VAR room. Oh. <laughs> But isn't this crazy because it's actually even not even um it's Real Madrid that kick off and then crazy, 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 crazy. All right. So so um that goes to Realist TV and that's a thousand points now. All right. I'm generous, I can share my points if somebody wants it. <laughs> okay. Um and but I take wait, dividends. Why do we have hundred <laughs> all? Because John hasn't oh is it Omo who hasn't gone? No, it's me, it's me. John. Else the last one. So for the hundred, for the hundred, for the tap in, John. Good, you're sitting on your seat. All right, name two current Premier League referees, John. Um, Anthony Taylor. I don't know this answer. I don't know it. <laughs> and um, my favorite referee from Newcastle, Michael Oliver. <sighs> amazing, so, amazing, amazing, amazing. Manchester John. United supporter, our worst referees, uh, Mariner. <laughs> <laughs> Mariner and Oliver. Right. Oliver. Um, I mean, guys, this, Omo, Omo, we gotta, we gotta beef up the knowledge right now because there's so many referees that you know that we. Uh, listen, know. listen, listen. There's the other referee are against us, so I don't remember the name. The only one I remember is Howard Webb. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even think I think Howard Webb is the head of he's the. He's VAR. He's not a referee. Yeah, he's VAR. You know? <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> but okay, all right, let's move on. Let's move on. It's the final, final match day. It's the final match day. Oh my goodness. Um uh all right. So why is the hundred not going? Oh, because I didn't Andre Mariner, Michael Oliver, oh, etc. All right. So final match day, guys. How are we doing? What's the standings? Let's see. Um one, two, realist. Okay. All right, now I've fixed this. Let's spin the wheel and see who's going first. I think John is John, going first. John, 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 John. Right, this John, is for the Premier League title now, right? This is for the title, brother. Pick well. In the All red corner, the John. Available. <laughs> You're leading. You're on the front seat, John. How many Make points right on the How many, how many points on the front? How many points on the front? You 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 on one thousand points, and then Macy is two with eight hundred. Oh, no 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 no! no. no you had four hundred. No, my 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 fault. I was looking at Realist TV's points. You are on four hundred, John. I thought it was cross side. I thought it was <laughs> exactly. Sorry, my fault. You are on four hundred. You I'll and Omo on four hundred. I got to go for. It. I think I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'll be it. I'm gonna, gonna go for it. Pull. Yes, go for it. All right, all right. Go for points. it. Who has been offside the most in the Premier League this season, John? I know this one. I think I do. Um, the most offside this season. Um, I'm not gonna get any clues. Do I get a lifeline at all? You you can you can uh, call call one lifeline or a sub as we call it, and that person and you will share the points. Right. In that case, Come then on, John, I probably have to share the points, and I. Um. This is for Champions League spot. Come on, John. Okay, <laughs> offside, offside. Um, Macy knows this one, don't you, Macy? I don't have a clue. Yeah. You don't. Um, You're not allowed to be checking thought, which which player. <laughs> come on, come on. I'm gonna take a punt here. I'm gonna take a punt. I'm gonna go yeah. with Tony. I haven't told. Fair shout. Hmm. You see the Marcus rush for the Tony. No. Yeah. Uh, I, I had I had someone completely different in my mind. This was Rashford. I, I had Darwin mayonnaise in my mind. You had Darwin mayonnaise. 
Dara Ned, Dara Ned. Yeah, yeah, I have, I have Dara Dara noodles Ravi. and Dara Ned. Yeah, like, come on. I mean, they Ravi. They, John chose the hardest question from the match day. That's like that. That you know. So, what's your final answer? Is, he never, he never scores to be on side. That's the thing. It says punt, but I'm gonna go with. I did say either Nunes or Tony, and I said Tony first, so I'm not going to change Tony. my mind. I said Tony first, I'm going to stick with Tony. Could be Nunes, but I say Tony. Yeah, good show. Could, could be Chris Havertz. It is. I'm not Havertz. I'm not having it. Havertz. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So your final answer, uh, John, is Tony, right? Yeah. I'll back him up. It's Tony. Okay, all right. Um, it is... Not Ivan Tony. Oh, oh man. <laughs> He's up there, though. But there Marcus is one Rashford. player. Marcus Rashford. Come on. I, 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 come on. I'm going to open it up to the house because it's, this is this is a 400 question. For 200, if you can name the player that's offside the most. He's a player from Chelsea. Come on, guys. Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. <laughs> Kai Havertz. Is I, it? I was guessing. I was. It can't be. No, all of you guys said it at the same time. <laughs> More or less. I was. I, listen, I wasn't sure. Is so it? So two hundred points for everybody, be. including John. So that doesn't count. <laughs> I have it. It's not finding. You know, I have it with Sterling because Sterling was outside in check for Man City. Yeah, it's Kai Havertz with 27 times, and Ivan Tony has done it 23 times. He's been offside 23 times. <laughs> it's not finding Gross. Nemo or Timo. <laughs> on, on third position is Jamie Vardy, of all people. Thank you, Edda. He said I answered it first. Thank you, Edda. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy stat. But anyway, Maisie answered it first. Was a Eddie. Okay, all right. No, if, if, is this a VR coming? Because we said it at the same time, okay? Uh, it must no, be by no, the no, hairline. No, Can we draw no, the line no, here? Eddie, no, draw I the line. I said I had this before I had my said Chelsea. And you thought I said I was wrong. VR. There's there's two people in the house that are saying Macy said it first, and I think it it, it has to be Macy. Like all the VAR. We referees. gotta speak to Howard Webb here. <laughs> VR exactly. room. Talk we about Howard Webb, Webb, not Marina. Wrong number. <laughs> wrong number. <laughs> we got your number. <laughs> <laughs> that is Holy too shit. funny. <laughs> Don't so, I get yeah, 200 no, or 400? So, Maisie, you get your 200 points. Let's give you oh, two, 200 points. And Maze jumped in, like you're saying, bold. Everybody's saying, <laughs> Maze, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Maze gets a 200. So, it's a thousand for Maisie. Hold on, hold on. All right, cool. And now, moving on. Okay, moving on. Now, who hasn't gone yet? Let's go, John Macy and Realist TV. Oh, let's jump in. Oh, oh, I'm going for 300. Come going on, for 300. Let's get it right first time. Let's hope it's an easy question for Homo. <laughs> What's not an easy question? What's full of FC's nickname? Come on, Homo. That's so easy. You think, again, do you think I care about the clubs? So why should I get this right? <laughs> why, why should I get this right if, if I don't care about other clubs? <laughs> you like me, we are Patriot Reds. <laughs> you gotta be at least observant, Omo. Come on, okay, come, let, on. Uh, come on. Let me think. Let me think. That no, 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 no. I don't know. <laughs> He doesn't want to think at all. Cool <laughs> Should I pass it over to um um the rest of the anybody that wants to jam in your I'm, chance? My my answer is Mitrovic FC. Final answer. It is not Mitrovic FC. Anybody that want to give it a shot? Who okay. gives club nickname? This is called Fulham. What's the other? Okay. I know that one. I know that one is. Red Devils. Devils. <laughs> go ahead, John. Go ahead. Cottages. Cottages, the, the cottages, exactly. Devils Rising also got cottage. it right too. Um, Full turkey, yeah. <laughs> whites, the lily whites, the cottages. The, the, That's Fulham the, FC's nickname. How did um, they have a nickname? Didn't know. I mean, <laughs> okay. Let's go on. Let's go Damn. on. Let's see. Now it is time for 
Messi. Oh. Oh, this is for the Champions League final, you know. This, this is for, is the, for title. the Champions League final right now, and I think they it's going to be oh. new. That means Neil, that I have this to. This is me being nice as possible. I hope you fail. Thank you, mate. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <laughs> to win this tie, I have to go for 200, 100%, right? So that's the only way. Matt Stone lies. So Mick has to go for 200. Please, footballing gods, if you're up there, help me. Superman. All right. Crypt, don't All give right. me kryptonite. Come on. For 200. For 200, Mick. Are you uh, ready? For 200. Critical is a power. Name player. the player that scored for Juventus in the Europa League oh. quarterfinal versus Sporting oh. this week. Oh. I'm, I don't. Juventus was in the, you know, at least we were in the Europa League. You know? Na name the player that scored for Juventus in the Europa League quarterfinal. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I know. I know. Oh, oh. so do I, so do I, so do I. This be, be this, this Rabio, Rabio scored. Rabio yeah. scored. Oh. Rabio scored now. Yeah, I was thinking of Oliver Giroud, but Oliver Giroud scored for... Uh, yeah, this type of question I need. Yeah, but he doesn't yeah. play for Rab players. Yeah, you... <laughs> it's not Chiellini, it's not Perlo, it's Ravio. <laughs> it's Ravio and oh, Edward Scott. Veronique, Veronique was there as well, his mother. <laughs> <laughs> she had a date with uh, John Murta, apparently. <laughs> Do you remember the last season? And also, I feel like Ravio idea. might be the top goal scorer for... Um, for for Juve right now, um, I think he's up there with Di Maria. Rabio has just killed my title hopes. <sighs> yeah, Di Maria got the first leg. I believe. Well, Rabio killed your title hopes for one hundred points, Macy. <sighs> You're looking a cow in the ass. Where well, these were the words used by Eric Ten Hag in a post match conference, post match press conference. True or false? Nah, Ten Hag wouldn't say that. You looking a cow in the ass. Is that yeah, false? Be... Yeah, I'm... I'm going with false. I can't say Ten Hag saying that. True. Ten Hag is a man, a very respectable man. But guess what? He, he did. did say. What? He did say that. Get sent off. And I had to, to get sent off. And I, I don't want to take the risk. And it's easily. Eh? So and afterwards... Did. Huh? That is, we call it that. Eh? So where I coming from? Uh, you call it you looking a cow in the ass. Huh? Then a cow in the ass. Uh, cow in the ass. That's why. Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so we call it. <laughs> uh, I call it. We call it uh, in my region from the Netherlands. Right. Uh, that is easy. What about yourself? Uh, uh, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, but. Hey, uh, when he got sent off, and you tell me, hey, why don't you uh, get him off? Why don't you go for the risk? I think, you know, it's one of those things that, like, explains... Like, I wouldn't have even know... won it anyway. <laughs> it's it's one be. of those things that gets lost in translation, but I, I feel like it's one of those hindsight things, like, you know, type of proverbs, that's what he's trying to explain, but, you know, maybe somebody that speaks Dutch will, will, <laughs> will explain to this, this to us. For one no, but day, the reaction but... from the British media, you don't say that in the British. So what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? What do you, you mean? Know... <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our game, our final match day, and guess what? MUFC Realist TV wins it with 1,200 points, Macy with 1,000, and then Omo and John Sinclair TV with 400 points on the Europa League and Conference League spots. So <laughs> I'm literally yeah. just like Liverpool of last season, and that makes me angry. <laughs> but I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I like to share my victory with Macy, if that's okay, because she helped me in the lifeline. It's fine. Of course, of course. The... Yo, I'm feeling to generous today. <laughs> Basically, do you have any words to, to, to say about that? How did you play? How was the game? How did the season go for you? It was ups and downs, I must be honest. But uh, realist one, he was the better guy uh, on the <laughs> night, even though he answered one more question than me. 
<laughs> true, 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 true. You played more games. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had a game in hand. It does, well, but you know what? He done fantastic, and it. The thing what let me down was that uh, that AC Milan manager. True. I know. Sorry, sorry. Um, um, uh, I had no Macy. clue. Like, I had I no clue. Like, you, know what it is? you still can't sorry, remember his I, name I, I would now, Maisie. I would have given you a clue. I would have given you a clue. <laughs> Why not? It just went in the back of the head. The whole point of the game is so that we all improve our football and knowledge. Do you remember the name, at least now, at the end of the game? <laughs> Starts with a P. <laughs> Pioli, yes. Pioli. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I really, really want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for to you, Basie, for, for participating. Omar, do you have any words? How did the season go for you as we wrap this up? Thing. Like, like, like in the word of Diddy Jogba, this is a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> you don't recognize Omo FC anymore. <laughs> this, is, this is a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did say oh. that, did he? The thing is, though, right? I'm not going to lie, but when you get a legend who comes out and say words like that, he plays for your club, it's distinction, right? This guy is right there in his profession, right? And he comes out oh. and say that. I think he's right. He's absolutely yeah. right. It, yeah, the club is it's, not it's, right. It's a madness with Chelsea. But um, um, my brother John, on your debut s- season, how did you do? And how did you? Uh, any post uh, match comments, post season comments before we close up? Um, yeah. All we got to do just keep winning our games. I enjoy your channel. Keep winning our games, and we'll be Champions League. If we get Champions League top four, I'll be happy. Sorry, yes. Macy. We're going to try and get I... our first spot off, yes? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got to give us that, you've got to give us that first spot. Do you know what I mean? But you've got to give us that first spot. Get us in Champions League. We haven't been there I, since I want to rematch so I can win <laughs> next time. I won't, be free ne- I won't be free next week because yeah. I'm, I'm, going on, I'm going on the piss next week. Like, yeah, but the week after... Are we invited? <laughs> the week after, I want to rematch it with realist. <laughs> We, we should definitely organize it. And now the champion, how are you feeling, sir? Me? I mean, uh, if I look at the game, it was fair and square. First half, uh, we didn't come off the block. We played very slow, to be honest. We huffed and puffed. There was some really difficult question. I thought, like, you know, um, if I don't risk, I don't drink champagne. So I started, like, you know, going all in. And then Macy came in to help me and... Slowly, slowly, I kind of eased into the game, like coming from behind, playing those balls, like, you know, tricky balls, the through balls. And eventually I prevailed. But, uh, you know, thank you so much. It's been amazing, amazing experience. I really like this quiz. Uh, I like the panel that was on. They offer fair competition, fair and square. Nice to see you, John. We've been chatting offline as well. So it's finally good to see you. Definitely. Omo as well. If we talk about sports washing, Omo is actually a brand that you can wash certain things with, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so, we're not going to talk about sports washing, but Macy, lovely sure. as usual to see you, Macy. It's been a while. It's been an hour to see you. Hope you're doing well. And Puppy, fantastic. Big up. And I love your graphics, Puppy. <laughs> That's so good. And um, I'm just uh, big up for, for everyone. Just subscribe, like and subscribe to Puppy's channel as well. Everyone, yes, yes. big up, big up. Uh, Thank we you. Talk football and relax. Although we had a little bit of a brain stinker yesterday with Manchester United losing, it feels good to sort of have a little bit of banter and fun, fun, to be honest. Yo, it feels I played good. The game. I played the game. Right, right. It just feels good to just, uh, you know, we've been drinking Chelsea tears and now Arsenal, Arsenal are sweating and no it's just more up to tears. us. Just focus and do our thing when we play Brighton. And 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 try to finish the season strong, you know, um, guys. What a what an awesome awesome pleasure! Thank you for participating in this game. I really appreciate you. And also, I just gotta say a special shout out to everybody. If of course, Reese, where there'll be a rematch, you can join Ravi. I appreciate you. Brush all your comments. You were right with a lot of the answers. And everybody else, um, vibes <laughs> with your with your very funny uh, uh, fifty cent jar roll and 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 all the people you were suggesting that was really funny thank you so much and eagle eye football we saw you 
you guys we eagle eye says VAR too. is needed. I Definitely. think I I agree. Rick. I think certain men are using the chat. Rich needs to be VAR here. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like you get what I mean. Right. Rich is absolutely spot on. Like he he needs to be the David Coot round here. They need to fight, man. That's funny. <laughs> Yo. <Yeah. laughs> Yo, big up everybody that joined in. I just want to say one more time. One more time. Mick, MUFC Realist TV is where you can Let's find go me. Let's go Sunday, right? quarterfinals. Let's go. No, sorry, semifinals. We need to bounce back. Mick Ruby, MUFC Realist TV. Come and see us on Sunday, Papi. And I probably will do the uh, <clears throat> call a spade a spade with Joe Day, uh, Jay Daly. Hey, amazing, amazing brother. And Devils United is where they can find you, right, Macy? Hold on, where's the solo Leo? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Um, this is the first time I actually done a proper quiz on someone's channel. So um Ooh. yeah. <laughs> um because I've always been nervous to do sh uh, quizzes, but my YouTube channel is Devils United, Manchester United content on there, men and women's football. Hey. Shout out to you and John Sinclair TV, right? There you go. Thanks for having us on. First time on here. Really enjoyed <laughs> it. And it's also great to see the panel as well, especially my favorite podcaster, Macy. She knows that. <laughs> and um, you can find us on John Sinclair TV on Facebook, Twitch. You can always find us on YouTube and Facebook as well. And also, you can find us on Insta, John Sinclair50. And if you find us on Twitter, John underscore NUFC42. I'm nine away from getting 4 followers and 600 subscribers. So please, please, please hit the likes, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll do the match previews, reviews, press conference. I do um, the watch alongs. I do player ratings, reviews, breaking news. And I'll get guests on my show. So yes. bring us in, people. Just hit that subscribe, please. It's easy and it's free. Yes, it's easy and it's free. And it is like your get your uh, digital act of kindness out the way and just do that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And Omo, Omo, you can always find Omo right here on Football Power Hour. I'm going to do the plug for Omo. Omo. <laughs> Omo. Omo. <laughs> you can find him in Sancho's Dead. You'll find him here. You can also sometimes find him on Planet Fast. And uh, you'll find him on the I, Twitter I, I've, I've decided to open a YouTube You've been what? I decided to open a YouTube. <laughs> talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah, I just said on oh, my YouTube is almost solo, the same as my name type TA. I just be talking about football stuff. I think just want to give more education about football. And now me, I would say mainly Manchester United. Like I'm, I talk about Manchester United, but now I'm just trying to talk about football, like in their position and stuff like that. I just put a new video about register in the football game. So that's why. Amazing, amazing, bro. I'm so happy that you did that. Oh, I can't wait to subscribe and check out. And also maybe, you know, feature too, brother. Please invite me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> also, say what? what you say? No, no, I'll say, say definitely. Like, just trying to little by little. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you so much. Yo, big up to y'all one more time. Happy, happy Friday. It's the Friday happy hour episode seven and it has come to an end. Sadly, I wanted it to continue, but it will be Friday happy hours. It's got to be one hour, guys. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon on Sunday. See you Sunday. Hit the like button and the notification bell too. Peace.